Welcome to our series on business control, a new organizational discipline. This program covers something we call Pandora's Paradox. Now, you may remember the story. The gods gave Pandora a box to store, but told her not to open it. She thought there were wonders inside, but instead she loosed a host of troubles on mankind. That's a great analogy for what's going on today. Business has opened the box on all kinds of initiatives that were supposed to improve performance, but they found instead that they are incubators for painful control problems. Yet, management insists there are no control problems. This typical CEO statement in the annual report talks about the internal control structure that protects against misuse or loss of assets. It details training and auditing processes that ensure control is in place. Yet the facts say otherwise. BizControl Solutions has analyzed literally hundreds of articles detailing control failures, a $6 million keystroke error, lost data, misuse of government debit cards, fines, on and on. In fact, these articles are so prevalent that when we conduct business control training, we've done that worldwide with students from over 65 countries, we have always found a business problem article that day in the local press where the root cause was lack of business controls. Regulations such as Sarbanes-Oxley are no help. Uh, don't you just love this SO for Dummies book? The simple fact is the government doesn't care how badly you run your business. It only cares that you report it accurately. So it's up to your internal resources, board, top management, operations, and audits to keep you in control. Just like we read earlier in the annual report letter, right? But I have a question for you. What do all these failed organizations have in common? Answer? They had everything I listed on the previous page and they all passed their audits. They had all kinds of controls from external to departmental to partner controls and it still didn't help. So what's going on? Well, we did a study of business education and finance practices and found something very interesting. Turns out there is a giant blind spot when it comes to business controls and Pandora's paradox. Everything is pre, pre before all the current people, process, system, relational enterprise initiatives took hold. In fact, you could give Ebenezer Scrooge a laptop in Excel, he go along just fine in most finance departments, plus his bosses would appreciate how tight he is with money. So you have all these controls in place, but it isn't enough. What's required is a new business discipline, something we call business control. If I asked your managers, how do you assess a control? Where should it be on the control continuum? Uh, what are the control red flags? Uh, what are the three P's of controls? The three types of controls? And the pros and cons of each? The seven features that a good control must have and so on. Would it be so much wah, 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 wah? How can your people control your business when they don't even know the basics of how to do it? What business needs today is nothing less than a new management core competency, business control. From a risk management standpoint, you could argue that it's a compliance training requirement in order to have an active defense for inadvertent errors in compliance reporting. From an operational standpoint, it's required not only at the executive level, but also for every manager in the organization and for many frontline employees, such as those in finance and IT. And the benefit is enormous. The quality folks talk about the high cost of waste and rework, estimated here 25 to 40% of revenue according to the Six Sigma handbook. The invisible factory is another term you'll hear. The hidden waste and not so hidden waste based on all the articles out there. Whatever the right number is for you, it's still huge. We believe that implementing a best practices business control program is the greatest opportunity for cost reduction available today, one with an enormous immediate payback. We also believe that this is a must do for organizations and is a critical practice area for consultants. If you'd like to see more information in print, download our Getting Control of Your Business white paper from the resources section of our website. And all you have to do is look at the business press to see that Pandora's Paradox is in play in organizations today. Next, we'll take a look at what to do about it.